What's up guys, Spinfire Arms here, and today we're going to be talking about different dots that I've experienced, my experiences with them, ones that have been $500 plus and have been terrible, some that have been $89 and flawless. We're going to get into all of it. And just like anything with batteries, see a lot of people like the dots because they're cool, they're tactical, and they're faster, they perform better, it's true, but just like anything else that is electrical, it can fail and it can fail at terrible times. For instance, I'm about to film this video. I'm trying to get into this bullcrap safe. Uh, it's an A-I-N-I-R-O. Don't buy this. If you ever put a firearm in this, your life would be done with. This thing is a piece of crap, it's trash. I currently have a Hellcat sitting right here, Glock 27 sitting right here, can't get in there. So one of the dots I was gonna talk about in this video is actually in the case. So the way we're gonna represent that is in this box. But I think that's a good representation of um, for instance, I can show you that I'm locked out. Oh my gosh, of course it opens now. What the heck? That's hilarious. Anyways, it see how inconsistent? That's a good representation of how inconsistent stuff with batteries or electronics in general can be. And that not every time there's a high price tag on something, it works better, right? That's just how it is. So, we do have the dot out, so absolutely perfect. Now... We're going to talk about some dots that have been absolute trash. So on the table, we have a good amount of dots. I would say most people can afford them on average. There's a couple that are a little bit more expensive um, that I don't even recommend, to be honest. I like that certain price point between, I don't know, $200 and, you know, $350. That'll get you a great dot. And that's all you really need. But before we get started, hit the like button, drop a comment down below and subscribe. And just remember, there's nothing wrong with running just irons, especially for self-defense. So let's talk about it. First off, we'll talk about a dot that's worked great for $89. This is the Ruger Ready Dot. Now, yes, it doesn't look tactical. All your buddies in their helmets and body, um, body armor are going to be like, what the heck is that? But it's never failed, and it's been great. And honestly, it's pretty dang accurate. And what's nice about it is you never have to adjust it. It is always zeroed in. Always. It physically cannot be taken away from zero. The only thing about it is it's a larger dot. Now, you're going to notice that my camera washes out all the dots, but it's going to be a little bit bigger than what you're seeing through the camera right now. But what's nice is it sits so low that you can co-witness with about a half of your sights, regardless of which iron sights they are. So on the Hellcat, this is a great setup for being extremely low profile, small, and always working, just like my Hellcat. Always runs, always reliable, blah, 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 aftermarket trigger, all that crap, whatever. It just runs. It does what it's supposed to. And that's $89. That is the Ruger Ready Dot. Now, is that my favorite dot? No, it's not. But is it worth the money? Yes. Every single penny. It's accurate as can be. It's fast. And like I said, you never have to adjust um, zero. And you never have to put batteries in it. It is solar powered. But the only thing I will say is if you cover it up, you get no dot. So if something manages to cover up uh, this little charger right here, you're done with. So absolutely love the Ruger Ready Dot. Next up, another budget option. Let's go over a couple more budget options. Then we'll get into some more expensive stuff. Right here is the Sealy Cadex Pro. This is the optic made for most Micro 9s. I love it. I have probably 11 or 12 of these things. I've actually given some to buddies. Um, and they run. They're great. They just do what they're supposed to. And they have three settings. You know, they have like a, a just a dot. Then they have, you know, line, 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 line with a dot in the middle. Then they have a circle with four lines and a dot, right? absolutely love it never a single issue um never ever has left zero it's always on point the sealy cadex pro is affordable um i don't know what they go for now because they're a newer release but they're awesome awesome dots you cannot go wrong with the sealy cadex pro on top of that they're um they can sit in buckets of water for 48 hours 72 hours you can pull it right out and it's going to shoot the thing is durable meant to take a beating and last so i absolutely love the sealy cadex pro now another one I just took off my Glock 26 to start testing on a different optic is my Wolf X Pro. This has over 9,000 rounds out of a Glock 26, taken a beating, it's gotten scratched up, it's gotten dropped, everything, and the thing has just been absolutely great. Now I'm trying to find its, um, so obviously that's going to be basically the RMR version of what I just showed you. Here it is, the Sealy Cat X Pro. This is the Sealy Wolf X Pro. Just the RMR larger version. Absolutely love it. Next up is going to be the Sealy Bear. Now, this is an enclosed emitter. People always say, oh, it's massive. What's the point? 
I don't everyday carry this. This is an awesome woods optic. Absolutely love it. It has one of the clearest dots. It's got a huge window. It's got a side loading battery, which I really like. Once again, has taken an absolute beating. Uh, I've been shooting it out of a 40. Still has never lost zero. This is a Glock 23. So it does have some power behind it. Not a single problem ever. You can't co-witness with the sights I have on there. Once again, this is a woods gun or, you know, uh, wood shooting gun. This isn't something I take serious. It's not an everyday carry, but I do love this dot. I trust it. I love it. Never a single problem. And I've never had to change any of the batteries on any of my Sealy's. And I have over 40 something Sealy's at this point. And the only time I've had a problem is I didn't tighten the battery case all the way closed. So the dot turned off. Second I tighten it back up, we were good to go. So that's the only problem. And they're all optics ready. So then you got to ask, would I recommend those? Yes, I would. Here's a optic right here from a major manufacturer, the SIG Romeo Zero. This is actually a brand new one. They sent me this. Um, my other one was an absolute mess. The dot would be there one minute, the dot would be gone the next. Um, you also have to take the optic off every single time you have to swap out the battery. Therefore, you can end up stripping the bolts, uh, do more damage on the threads itself. Just over time, it's more wear and tear that's completely unnecessary. Now, I know they wanted to make it low pro profile, which is actually pretty nice because you basically get a full co-witness almost and it's very small but it's trash i do like the texturing on the side for racking it if you want to rack using the dot but the fact that i've had it fail me um for people who are completely relying on their dots that's a big problem and coming from a company like sig you shouldn't see that at all so this dot is absolute junk i do not recommend it whatsoever i would stay away from it um but i continue to test it because that's part of the channel over here this is my favorite dot simply because of price and of how it's made as well as its reliability. This is the Vortex Defender CCW. This is the 3 MOA. I'm actually going to be trying out the 6 MOA as well. This is my favorite dot. They're only like $250. As you can see, they have very thick walls. Yes, it sticks off of the optic or off the firearm a little bit, but I don't care. This thing is built to take a beating. It says it exactly on it, the Defender CCW. It's for concealed carry. It's small, but is a relatively tall window. Has this awesome little pattern right here, which is just, you know, durable. You feel like this thing is strong, durable, can take a beating. Um, it's very easy to adjust, has a top loading battery, never lost zero, and we put this through its paces. Um, a lot of people that don't like the Hellcat that have shot this with that dot on it, love the setup. Like it really does change a firearm. You may not like the trigger on a certain firearm. This dot can definitely inspire confidence. Um, this is my new go-to everyday carry um, dot. And for all these, I get most of my optics at Optics Planet because they do really have a good selection. They basically have everything you could ever want. And um, I asked them if I could get a code for you guys for the channel. So it's code SPNF. That's SPNF at Optics Planet and it'll save you 7%. So at least it covers taxes depending on where you're at, maybe a little, you know, a little bit of shipping, whatever the case may be. 7% can be a lot um, over time. But yeah, the Vortex Defenders are about as solid as can be. And to be honest, they are my favorite um, budget optic. I trust them completely. And that's why it's on my Concealed Carry Hellcat. This is legit my Hellcat setup. Code SPN for 10% off all Blacksmith Tactical Holsters. That's a V2 holster right there with a wedge, double discreet carry clips, a claw. And yes, it is a taco um with everything on the inside, right? And a wedge. Next up is a $500 optic, the Viridian RFX44. Now Viridian makes great products. You might know them for making lasers, you know, uh, for a lot of the smaller handguns, the pocket pistols, stuff like that. They make great pop products normally. So this could just be a fluke. Everything here is man-made. Uh, this has taken a beating. It's been a carry dot. And yes, you're gonna say, oh, why would you put that on a subcompact? Because it doesn't really affect me while carrying whatsoever. Um, doesn't bulge. This is not the part that affects concealed carry. And look at that. <laughs> look at that. The dot was working when I brought it down. My point exactly. The dot was working when I brought it down. And that's my problem with it. You'll be at the range. You'll be halfway through a mag. And it's gone. Then you'll start shooting again. And it comes back. It is the most unreliable dot I've ever had other than that SIG. And it has nothing to do with this battery thing. I've torqued on it. You can see I've done damage to it. Trying to torque it shut. It is not the battery, as that is a brand new battery. Absolute garbage. That's my point. People think because you buy an expensive dot, expensive firearm, that it's going to run better. That's not always true, and a lot of the time it's not. Typically, you want to stay in that middle range. 
Like for firearms, think about it. $400 to $800. You got Glocks, Springfield, SIG, CZs, Berettas. You get $6,000 Nighthawk. The thing goes off when you drop it. <laughs> you get a $2,500 Staccato. The thing can go off when you drop it. Or you're in a concealed carry class and the person has a Staccato. And every time there's a malfunction, they have to jam it out with a guide rod. Not everything is better when it's super expensive. I know people like to be elitist and think they're the coolest with the most expensive stuff. I could trade all these in right now and get a staccato. I just wouldn't because I trust my Glocks a lot more. Uh, yeah, this is a no-go for me. Absolute no-go. That is the Viridian RFX44. It's not about crapping on a company. Just the fact it's not reliable. So you can't trust something like this. So it is what it is. I did love that dot, actually. I really love that dot. So it's sort of depressing. Next up. This is probably one of my favorite dots from Hollison. This right here is the SCS, and this is the direct mount version for my P10C. This is my favorite duty or larger um, handgun. This is the compact. I love this thing. I shoot it better in my Glock 19, just a little bit better, but I love how low the dot sits, and that's one of the biggest uh, turn-ons for me. Shout out to my buddy Heg, who introduced me to this handgun. I absolutely love it. It is a solar charging as well. So you can't beat this. There's no battery to mess around with. You don't have to unscrew it all the time. It is solar powered charging. Um, super low. That is the number one selling point for me. It is so low. Look at this. It'll, here, let me get uh, let me get this. For my Defender CCW, right? You can see. Look at how much lower that thing sits. And it's a larger dot. Now it does have a smaller window. But it's also in green, which I really like. I shoot this handgun better than most of my handguns. This is my Glock 26, I shoot the best. That is why I picked this. Yes, it's not a full size. It does take the full size mags though. This is plenty big for me as a duty handgun or a belt gun. I absolutely love this thing. Came with excess sights. Shout out to XS for making the best sights. I absolutely love them. You'll see on a lot of these handguns that I have them on there. Blacked out rear, these are the minimalist sights. They're the best. This setup right here is dang near perfect and it comes like this. So you can get this for about 680. Absolutely love the SCS on this easy. Next up, Hollison EPS carry. I love the EPS carry. Not a single problem. It's relatively affordable. Um, it's pretty small, but it has a nice, durable window. I really liked, you know, enclosed emitters. Now this one is not the self-charging or solar charging one. This is a battery charging. Um, not the biggest deal in the world though. You just take it out the side. If there's a battery and it comes out the side, I'm perfectly fine with it. Or out the top, I'm fine with that. I just can't stand the optics where you have to take them off to put the battery in. So I absolutely love this. One of my favorite dots for concealed carry. Um, wish it worked with the Hellcat. I believe you have to shave down your Hellcat um, opt optic plate um, in order to get it to work. But I love this thing. Works great on my Mosberg. Awesome setup right here. Love the EPS carry. And it's affordable. Next up is one of my more expensive dots that I actually like. Um, do I recommend it? Yes, I do. Um, do you have to get it? Of course not. This is the Leopold Delta Point Pro. And this is on my Glock 26 Gen 5 MOS. So obviously I had to get the doctor mount for it. And man, is this thing a clean, clean dot. It's 2.5 MOAs. And man, does this thing... It sits nice on this handgun. It is a bit tall, but this is a true dot. This is a real window it's huge it's wide it's literally the perfect dot if i didn't have to care about size or anything like that i cannot stand the glock mounting platform i cannot stand the mos system i think it's ridiculous um but it is what it is it's a weak system i get why they do it but at the same time i just don't like it but if i could have any optic i wouldn't necessarily choose this but it is a great dot it's just really expensive i rather have honestly two defenders or you know a defender and an scs whatever the case may be it's a great shooter though you can't really beat it it's durable it's rugged um so if you were looking for a higher end dot this is what i would recommend um if you're looking for how to spell it that's it right there once again if you want to save a little bit of money on there on a 500 hundred dollar dot my coupon code would save you like 40 bucks code of spnf absolutely love it it's on my good list Next up, let's do the 407K. This is the X2. This is on my Glock 43. I like this. It's sort of a cross between the Defender from uh, Vortex and the Hollison EPS in, in terms of durability, um, window size, window thickness, all sorts of stuff. I think it's a very nice dot. Um, 
I'm trying to think. I had it on a camo upper, a Glock 48 camo upper. Loved it on there. Actually sold it to a buddy because the thing just runs great. It has an awesome, awesome dot on it. Looks much bigger and drowned out um, on camera. But I actually prefer the 407K. One of my favorite carry dots. Um, this, the Vortex, and the EPS are probably my favorite dots to go to, as well as the SCS on that CZ. They're just great, especially for smaller handguns. Doesn't hang over a terrible amount. It does a little bit, but not the biggest deal in the world. Still fits in holsters and everything like that. Doesn't change how comfortable it is. And it's a Holosun. It's that sweet spot to where um, it's affordable, and it's a great quality product. And once again, battery is on the side. And last but not least, this is an older dot that I have. This is a Holosun. 507c and this is the green version it's going to look massive but that's because it's drowned out i actually have this one hash 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 dot um works really well this is cut for an rmr that's why i went with this slide so i don't have to use the mos system so it sits a little bit lower not the lowest sitting dot in the world it is self-charging it's actually pretty rugged and durable i've had this for about four years now i want to say something like that it's one of my first dots um that i actually took serious i had dots before that um but this is my first like actual investment in a decent dot from Holosun. You get a nice co-witness with those suppressor height sights. Um, just sits above the optic where you can see that orange. And if you are going to run suppressor height sights, I do prefer an orange front instead of a white. Or sorry, a white front instead of the orange. Because that orange can sort of confuse you and throw you off. Whereas if you get a white, it gets drawn it out by your dot. But if your dot dies, then you simply just have the white front tritium sight. So I absolutely love this setup. Love the 507C, but it's typically not my favorite. Once again, I'll go over my favorites for you guys. And then we'll get out of here. Where is it at? Perfect. So if I could only have, you know, a certain amount of dots. Where's my Hellcat? Oh, yeah, it's right there. Perfect. These are my go-tos. These are my favorite. Now, I do like the Delta Point Pro, but for the price, it necessarily isn't my favorite. But if you are looking for that high-end small dot accurate as can be big window you know for your 19 or 17 i do recommend the delta point pro but for me price wise for quality stuff like that these are my go-to's once again i'll go over them the defender this is the 3moa i'm about to be trying out that 6moa like i said i love it so much i had to pick one of these up so we will be doing that soon um then from there eps carry you just can't beat it you know in my opinion it's tied with the 407k a little bit different you can see the size difference not a big deal both both awesome dots i have this one turned on a little more and then last but not least the direct mount scs i know they have the scs for certain models that are direct mount as well from the factory so you can look into that i don't know all of them off the top of my head but just a really nice low sitting dot it all comes down to preference i believe they make the eps carry that's self-charging um i do not have that one but in terms of reliability um price Stuff like that. These are my go-tos and you can beat them. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope that helped you make a decision. Once again, code SPNF at Optics Planet will save you 7%. Maybe you can get an awesome dot like these. Thanks for watching, guys.